happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited because i'm going to be testing out some more gel polishes from nail reserve formerly known as nail addict they were kind enough to send over eight of their gel polishes so we're going to hop right on into this and see what colors i picked out Ooh, look at all the goodies i'm excited for this so we'll go ahead and pull all these gel polishes out and we'll take a closer look okay these are all of the polishes that I got from Nail Reserve. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you what they all look like. So the first one here is Italian Latte. Ooh, that's a really beautiful nude. It's like a nice warm brown color, very beautiful. Precious Mate, which is a nice beautiful deep gray color. I was excited to get some more grays in my collection. So this is really nice for me. Ooh, okay, this is kind of like a coral color here, really pretty. Love Potion. Okay, this is a really nice blood orange. Kind of red, kind of like a nice blood orange color. I thought it was going to be more of a true orange color, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Underground Queen. I thought this was a really beautiful green when I saw it online. Ooh, and I was right. Look how gorgeous that is. It's like a nice kind of um, Christmas green color. I really like that a lot. Perfect for the holidays. I also got Warm Glow. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a nice, um, I don't even know how to just, like a deep gold, warmy green kind of color. Really pretty. Not ashamed. I've been eyeballing this color for a while, and look how stunning this is. It's a really beautiful gold glitter color. Oh, this is really beautiful. Love that a lot. And then last but not least is Sweet Sapphire, and this is a really beautiful sapphire blue. OMG, look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Absolutely love this blue. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get all these colors swatched for you guys. And I will be right back. I'm going to swatch one live with you all. And I think I want to swatch. I got to swatch this sapphire blue, y'all. This mug was really beautiful. So I'm going to swatch this. Okay, so this is sapphire blue. Ooh, -hoo. that's really pretty. I love that. And I really like working with the Nail Reserve polishes, not only because they smell good, okay, but because it's um, a really nice consistency of the formula. It's a little bit on the thicker side, but the opacity is there, as you all can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. I wanna try this warm glow on camera with you guys too, because it's just so pretty. Ooh, that's different. It's actually kind of giving me swamp vibes in a sense but like cute swamp vibes or maybe even snakeskin almost. This is a really unique color. I like this a lot. That's nice. All right, and I promise, okay, I'm gonna swatch just one more because I mean, these are all just too pretty not to take my time swatching, okay? So the last one here is not ashamed and then I'm gonna speed through the rest, I promise. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. So beautiful, gorgeous, absolutely beautiful, I love it. Okay, happy people. So as I'm doing these swatches, I wanted to let you all know about Nail Reserve's Pink Factor collection and their campaign. Um, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So for the month of October, for every item sold from the Pink Factor collection, they're gonna donate $1 to Breast Cancer Awareness and Research. I love that they're doing that. So I am gonna leave the link for all the items in their collection down below. And don't forget to use my discount code Rose Nails to save 50% off of your order. This is a great way to give back and donate to such a great cause. And do y'all see the opacity? This stuff is one coat coverage. They're super creamy, super pigmented, and very opaque, nice high quality products. So this is what all of the colors look like. Swatch, I'm gonna go through and give you all up close. This one here is Sweet Sapphire. Absolutely love this color, it's a really beautiful uh, sapphire blue it looks like crystals almost really really beautiful precious mate um, which is a really beautiful deep dark gray Italian latte which is this really beautiful um, deep brown really beautiful nude not ashamed which is just stunning glitter absolutely love this I can't tell if this glitter is more gold or more silver it like depending on the shift it leans more one way or, or the other for me which is a really beautiful kind of coral pinky kind of color love potion which I actually was expecting to be more of an orange color based off of how the label looks but it's really more so like a blood orange color 
um, but it's very beautiful. Underground Queen, which is a really nice grassy green color. Um, really more like a Christmas green, really like it. Last but not least is Warm Glow. And this is probably the most unique color out of them all. And yeah, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's really gorgeous. It has like these small, um, fine gold flakes in it with kind of like a deep green base almost. I'm not really sure how to describe it. It, it kind of looks like swamp water, but then it also looks like royalty. It's kind of an interesting color, just depending on how you use it, it's going to look different in um, different sets. So yes, these are all the colors here. I am going to go ahead and do a fall set with these. I haven't decided if I want to do press-ons or not. If y'all are curious about this set that I have on here, I just did these. These are some pop art nails. I actually love how they turned out. I'm going to leave a full tutorial for this. Link down in the description box below. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pop these off and I'll be right back. I'm back and I'm ready to make these press-on nails. So I'm, I am going to be going in with my full cover tips from Beatles. And one of the first things I'm going to do is go through and just remove that little tab that comes on all of the full cover tips. I'm going to do that for each nail. So next I'm going to go in with my base coat. I am going to be using my Madam Glam base coat. And I apply base coat to all the nails because I am lazy and I don't like to go in and buff the surface of the nail. If you all wanted to, you can go in and buff the surface of the nail and that will give you a, a nice surface to go ahead and go in with the gel polish. I like to skip that step and go with base coat so that it's less work. The base coat has been applied to all the nails. Next I'm going to go in with Italian Latte and I'm, I'm going to apply that to all of the nails except for the thumbnail. This is what Italian Lacte looks like on all the nails. This is a really beautiful nude. Next, I'm going to go in. We're going to do a fall theme set, y'all. I'm so excited about this because I got some patchwork. We're going to be drawing some pumpkins and even some scarecrows, okay? So first, I want to go in and do... I'm going to go for the low-hanging fruit first, y'all. And I'm going to go in and just do some patchwork on some of the nails. So on this particular nail, I wanted to draw some patches with the color um, for me. I'm going to go in with my micro detailer brush from Young Nails and then I'm just going to take a little bit of that on here and I'm going to draw just like some different patches on the nails. So maybe I'm going to start down here at the cuticle and then just draw one little patch down here like so. Okay, happy people, when I went in to draw this triangle, I actually didn't like how narrow it was. So I went in and drew it a little bit wider, but I did want to talk about the importance of having a steady hand when you're drawing lines. As you all can see, I'm actually resting my pinky on my other hand to give me stability. And that's going to help you be able to draw a really nice crisp line when doing your nail art. Next I'm going in and I'm filling in all the shapes that I just drew. I did end up switching to a larger brush to be able to fill in um, the shapes a lot quicker. And I must say I've really been enjoying using these Nail Reserve gel polishes for freehand nail art. They're really nice and opaque. It's interesting as I'm doing this I must be getting comfortable with my nail art because I haven't flash cured anything. So that's a lot of trust I'm showing in myself here. Perfect, so I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. Let's see over there. Oh, no. Is that right? Let's see over there. Mm hmm. Let's try this. Did you say hi, mommy? Oh, yeah. Y'all, she just walked in the room and said, hi, mommy. Oh, my God, my heart just melted. Anywho, my little one has come to join the party, as always. So this is what the nail looks like. I am going to go ahead and go in with a second coat on top of these nails. It's not necessary, but I just want that color to really pop. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. This is what the nail is looking like so far. Next, I'm gonna go in with Perfect Black from Madame Glam. And that's what I'm gonna use to outline the patch. Okay, y'all, I must say I'm super impressed at the fact that I did not need the flash cure every line as I drew it in the past typically every single line that I draw I would stop and flash here for 10 seconds so it's nice because it shows that I'm getting a lot better at my freehand nail art so this definitely shows that practice makes progress so y'all keep practicing 
Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. This is what it's looking like so far. Next, I'm gonna go in and with my brush, I'm just gonna draw like the little lines to create the actual patches. So I'll go one, two, three. Three. This one I'm gonna just do an X just to be different, you know. So the nice thing about doing this patch design is that the lines don't have to be perfect. So almost the more imperfect they are, the more realistic they look because patches aren't perfect. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. This is what the first nail looks like. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Next, I'm gonna try to draw a pumpkin on this nail here. And I think I just want it to be like just a cute little pumpkin. I've seen a couple videos. I'm not actually referencing anything in particular right now. I'm just gonna go off of my memory of what I've seen done. Um, so I think I just wanna kinda of start here in the middle, a little further up, and then just kinda of make a bow. Oops. Like a bow where it like kinda of comes out like this. Maybe uh, like this. Is that a I don't know. Kind of like a heart shaped situation is what I'm trying to do. I think I can salvage this. So I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this. So as I'm filling in the pumpkin, I found that making it kind of like a heart shape at the top and making like the left side, I'm sorry, the right side of the heart a little bit higher allowed me to create that pumpkin shape. Okay, yeah, I think that looks kind of pumpkin-y. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. This is what the pumpkin is looking like so far. I do wanna create a little stem for the pumpkin as well. I'm actually gonna go in with warm glow and I'm gonna use that to create the stem of the pumpkin and bring it right here to create the stem of the pumpkin. So when creating the stem of the pumpkin, I found that making two slightly curved lines going to the right and connecting the two at the top created the perfect stem. And now I'm just going in and filling in that stem I just created. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. Now I'm gonna go in with black and just outline the pumpkin to really like bring it to life here. As I'm outlining the pumpkin, I do want to apologize if you all are having a difficult time hearing me. It is taking longer than expected for my voice to come back. I'm not exactly sure what happened or why it's gone, but that's the reason that I sound hoarse in this video, so I apologize in advance for that. But it is slowly but surely coming back. And thank you all for the well wishes. I really appreciate it. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw in the body of the pumpkin, just give it more dimension. This. Nope, that's not right. Okay y'all, so this pumpkin was quite the struggle for me. It took me about five or six tries to actually get the lines on the pumpkin right. I guess I just wasn't doing the curve properly, but I found that you actually have to start at that point in the middle and then um, kind of make like an oval-ish type shape coming from that point in the center and then on either side draw just a curved line and honestly it was really hard trying to film this so I ended up just doing it off camera even this image here after I finished doing the pumpkin it still wasn't good enough for me so yeah that's when I went ahead and did it off camera so this nail is all done next I'm gonna go in and do a little bit of stamping on this nail here typically when I do stamping I do like to stamp over a top coat so I am gonna go ahead and add the Nail Addict No White Top Coat to the nail. So I am gonna be using a new stamping plate today. Um, I wanted to go in and make some crows and I thought that this right here will be perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel the filming off of this. Y'all know how satisfying this is for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little slow-mo of that. And again, I'm gonna go in with these. And then I also have my uh, stamping polish from Born Pretty. 
So one of my close friends, she knows I'm really getting into stamping and so she was kind enough to give me um, a stamper from Clear Jelly Stamper and I think this is like the end all be all when it comes to stamping supplies and I've heard really good things about this so I'm excited to try it out. So thank you so much darling, I appreciate you. Ooh, okay, so this is the stamper and then this is, oh this is really pretty, okay. And then this is the stamping head. I think it's supposed to, oh, okay, it comes with two of them, okay. So I'm gonna give this stamper a try and I'm excited because you can see very clearly what you're doing and where you're putting it at. With stamping, you'll wanna go ahead and saturate the image. So I'm gonna saturate the image here, okay. And then with your scraper, you do one quick swipe down, like so. You'll take your stamper, okay, and then roll it to pick it up. It picked up nicely, okay. Then you'll wanna take your lint roller and remove any images that you don't want to transfer onto the nail. Now I'm gonna take my nail and then place the crows onto the nail like so. Nice clean transfer, beautiful. I love it, oh my gosh. Alrighty, so that's that now. I might do like one or two more birds here, but I really like how that looks, so I might just leave that. I'm liking how that turned out. Next, I'm gonna move on to the index finger, and this is the nail where I actually wanna draw a scarecrow. When drawing the scarecrow, I first wanted to go in and draw the outline of the hat, um, just to kind of get the placement of where the actual scarecrow would be on the nail. I do feel like I did draw the hat a little bit too big. I wish I had made it a little bit smaller so that the full image could, you, it could be seen when you look at the nail head on. It's kind of off to the right a little bit, but that's okay. So now I'm going in and trying to draw the body of the scarecrow. Um, it did take me a few attempts to get that. I think I got it on the second attempt. Um, and here you see me just kind of drawing in the hay for the, the arms of it and then drawing the body. Um, and it's okay for these, for the lines not to be perfectly straight because, um, you know, with a scarecrow, the, the clothing and everything is kind of jostled a little bit. So yeah, now I'm just going in and filling in um, the outline that I made and uh, making sure to try to get some detailing to where it looks like it's an actual head <laughs> and then a body. Um, and so that's what it's looking like and after that I went ahead and drew like the little post or the little pole that the scarecrow kind of is attached to and then I decided to go in with the for you color and draw the grass um, just to kind of tie this nail in with the rest of the set I originally was going to go in with underground queen um, so it's that beautiful green color that came I felt like it would have threw this set off um, because this nail was looking a little bit dark this is what it looks like after I finish coloring in the grass. So like, I like how it looks, but I feel like it's throwing the set off a little bit. I don't know, maybe it's okay, maybe it's just me. But I think I wanna try to bring some more of the pink onto this nail so that it doesn't look so dark, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe make some clouds in the sky using that for, for, for me color. So to make clouds with a dotting tool, you'll just wanna take one side of the dotting tool and just kinda like make a dot and then just kinda drag it across. And then on the second one, I did like a dot on either side and then I dragged it across and then just brought it up a little bit. Yeah, I think that kinda helps like tone it down a little bit. This is what my scarecrow nail is looking like. So this is what we have so far. With this particular nail, I wanted to go ahead and do a sideways French patchwork, so I'm gonna do that really quick. To do that, I'm gonna go in with this pink color, and I'm just gonna outline where I want the V to go. So I'm gonna do like this. Like so. Okay, actually I think I wanna bring the line up the nail just a little bit further. like so okay and then i'm just going to go ahead and shade the rest of the color in so that's what that looks like with two coats of coverage next i'm going to go in with warm glow again and just make that just opposite of the pink All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and outline. All 
Oh, this is cool. I just got a message from Young Nails and they're having the one week class course. They're live streaming it, so. I've always been curious and wanted to attend one. I'm gonna be watching this as I finish up my set. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now that that is done, now I'm gonna go ahead and just draw the patches. So I'll just draw the lines. So I'll go one. I wanna draw X on one of them too. So this would be two. So this is what the nails are looking like. So when I was applying top coat, I did go ahead and make a few changes to the nails. Um, I did go ahead and add a little bit of bling and then I added some uh, polka dots of that for me color uh, to really tie in all the nails. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply these to my nails and we're gonna get into the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am loving how my first fall set of the season turned out. It's so cute. All right, so let's take a moment for this little scarecrow. Um, at first I was thinking that it threw the set off, but actually I'm really liking it. It's growing on me. And I also really love these patches on this nail. This is probably one of my favorite nails outside of this lovely little pumpkin here. And y'all, do y'all see the little cuticle bling on the pumpkin nail? Yes, baby, this set came together quite nicely. And then on the thumb here, I went ahead and did like a uh, like the patch V-shaped French tip. And um, I'm really liking how that warm glow color looks. Like the way that the light hits it when it shifts, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and maybe got some ideas on some fall sets that you all might want to try. I'm a huge fan of the Nail Reserve, AKA Nail Addict, using them for nail art. And when I say they perform beautifully, they're almost like a gel paint in a sense. So yeah, I do have a discount code with them. You all can get 50% off of your gel polishes if you use the code Rose Nails. So I will leave that discount code here on the screen as well as in the description box in case you guys are interested in checking out their products. They are really nice and of high quality. And all this this month during the month of October they will be donating one dollar for every bottle sold to breast cancer research and breast cancer awareness so I think that's a really great cause if you all are looking to support that cause um, this is a way to do so and a special shout out to nail reserve for donating to such a great cause so yeah let me know if there's any other designs you all would like to see me try out next I've been having a lot of fun playing around with the freehand nail art lately I got a, I got a lot more hand-drawn designs coming up so I'm really excited to share that with you all I have some more um, freehand nail art designs coming up soon so y'all stay tuned for that okay happy people so i just finished taking photos for my um instagram and tiktok and i thought it'd be kind of cool to show you guys how i take off my press-ons um let me know if you guys are interested too in me maybe doing a video showing you all how i take my photos and videos i think that might be kind of cool but this is actually just a leg warmer and I just put this on to make it look like I have a sweater on. This is a hack that I got from Tia Bella Beauty and it's been like a game changer for my photos. And then I just use glue dots. So these glue dots here, just to literally put the, put the nails on for a photo. I'm gonna show you guys how quick and easy it is to take them off. You just pop them right on off just like that so whenever i'm doing a set of press-ons and i just need to take a quick photo i literally just use the glue dots and i put it on just slightly tuck it underneath the cuticle and then i'm able to get quick photos and then still pop them off really quick so yeah i just thought it'd be kind of cool to show you guys that but yeah i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday thursdays in particular are my nail therapy thursday premieres where i tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye